Stafford, a town of about 1,000 people, is to my mind one of the prettiest in Vermont. The town had twice the population when the Boston Stage Road ran through it 100 years ago, and surprisingly was home to the longest operating copper mine in the country from 1809 to 1958. The iconic townhouse, built in 1799, resembles a classic New England church and dominates the view from its location atop a hill above the town green. Residents have held town meeting here every year since 1801. The town's most famous son's residence is preserved as a National Historic Landmark just down the road. Justin Smith Morrill was born in Stratford in 1810. After going to business at the age of 15, he amassed enough of a fortune to retire at age 38 and became a gentleman farmer at his Gothic Revival homestead with its trademark salmon pink color. The house is open for tours weekends from July 3rd to October 10th. On the right is the shuffleboard court. The variety of farm and outbuildings on the property include a horse barn, cow barn, sheep barn, corn crib, ice house, and blacksmith shop. There was a hothouse for growing vegetables, as well as a kitchen garden, fruit garden, and orchard. As it's well over 90 degrees today, I don't think we need to worry about falling through the ice. This man-made pond was the source of an extensive water system which fed the house, barns, and gardens, and was used for harvesting ice in winter. A good ice house could preserve ice for as long as two years, a considerable luxury in the days before air conditioning. served as congressman and later senator from Vermont for almost 44 years. A founder of the Republican Party, Morrill is best known for the Morrill Act, also known as the Land-Grant College Act, which established federal funding for higher education in every state. This ultimately led to the founding of 105 colleges and universities with over 25 million graduates to date. Please subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and you can always comment below.